Hello, in focus today at Georgetown SCS, Military Connected Student Resources. I'm here with Wes Wilson. We'll be providing an overview of the resources available to and success tips for military connected students. Welcome, Wes. Thanks for having me. Yeah, great. I'm glad you could join us today. Sure. Um, let me just start with the question um, really about the fact that SCS recently announced it's going to remove or has removed um, existing yellow ribbon uh, scholarship maximums. What does that mean exactly and why is it crucial to military connected students? Sure, yeah. So for a fully eligible uh, post 9-11 GI Bill student, the post 9-11 GI Bill is going to pay an annual maximum of about $27,000 in tuition and fees which for a school like Georgetown can be a drop in the bucket. And so without Yellow Ribbon, they would have to pay the difference. And so that's where Yellow Ribbon comes in. It's a voluntary agreement between us and the Department of Veterans Affairs to cover some or all of tuition exceeding that $27,000 maximum. So when a college says that they'll provide unlimited Yellow Ribbon scholarship maximums, it means that no matter what you accrue in tuition and fees, your post 9-11 GI Bill is going to cover you. So that's literally what it means. But from a value standpoint, it allows Georgetown to make a really uh, powerful statement in words and action that basically says, if you earn 100% of your GI Bill, you, you earn your golden ticket, as it were, you can leave a school like Georgetown with zero student debt. And that statement is the most powerful statement a university can make uh, to support its military students. Absolutely, that's fantastic yeah. and a wonderful change. Um, let me also ask you, why is Georgetown's School of Continuing Studies a good fit for many military connected students as they really transition into higher ed and what should prospective students really um, think about in choosing Georgetown? Yeah, sure, so uh, this is the magic question, right? So SCS, School of Continuing Studies, makes a lot of sense for a number of practical reasons. Now, at the undergraduate level, SES has really robust transfer credit policies. Um, they're going to give you as much credit as they can for your joint service transcripts. That's going to allow you to knock out your undergraduate degree faster and preserve your precious GI Bill entitlement for a master's program, uh, which is really where most military connected students are kind of already operating, just given their experience. Right. Now, at the graduate level, SCS offers a plethora of very professionally oriented master's programs in subjects such as um, applied intelligence, supply chain management, cybersecurity risk management, um, et cetera, just to name a few. Uh, these programs are going to give you the skills and experiences to excel through your transition. And if folks are worried about a, a long hiatus from the classroom, it's like totally normal. Right. Um, between one-on-one -on -one advising sessions with uh, SCS's uh, library, writing center, or academic resource center, just to name a few, there's right. no shortage of support to make sure that you can, um, you're supported and you can complete your degree. And then lastly, uh, almost all of SCS's programs offer full-time, part-time, and evening learning options. So it makes a lot of sense for practical reasons. And what, you know, sharing all those resources as well, that's really helpful because as, if you're going back and there's been a period of time uh, just knowing that there is that support net for you is very helpful. Um, let me just ask you this. What advice would you give prospective military-connected students um, as they transition into higher ed? Uh, sure. And I want to take this opportunity to speak directly to the junior enlisted, okay. the, the specialists, the lance corporals and the sergeants of the world who I think struggle with this the most. Because I work with every day with exceptional students like these who struggle with imposter syndrome. Mm. This feeling that in, in spite of all that they've accomplished, that they have no business hitting submit on a Georgetown application. And so to those folks, uh, I would encourage you, when those feelings start kind of arising, um, please remember, if you are admitted, it means that not just one, but multiple people saw something in you that maybe you don't yet see in yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you take this time to really invest in yourself and be curious, and you remember that there are no mistakes, regardless of what program you, you choose, your time at Georgetown will change your life forever.
No, that's fantastic advice. Um, and I think that's very important that people see that this is where they're supposed to be and uh, they can succeed here. So Wes, just thank you so much for sharing your insights and thank you to everyone watching today. Thanks for having me.